Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about mixing and mastering using Maximus, okay? So let's get right into it. For today's beat, I used a melody from Prod Lodani. I'm going to drop his stuff in the description and first pinned comment. Make sure y'all check him out on TikTok. He's got some fire samples up in here, y'all. So here's the beat. <laughs> I'll play the full beat to you once it's actually mixed and mastered, but let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is just mix it. If we look at the mixer here, nothing is really leveled. All we're going to do is bring everything down to zero. I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit on my headphones, and I'm going to start mixing all of these because we want it at a good level before we try to master anything. And like I've talked about before with mastering beats, when you send a beat to a rapper, you don't want to send them the mastered beat because if they're going to write their vocals on it and they're going to record over it, why would they want to record their vocals over a mastered beat then master it again? It'll sound not the best. So when I'm talking about mastering beats, I'm talking about showcasing that beat for when you put it on YouTube, BeatStar, stuff like that, so they can hear the best quality version of it. And then when they get the beat, they can mix and master their own vocals to that. So keep that in mind when you're mastering beats. Without further ado, let's start mixing this. I'm going to bring everything down and let's start with the most important elements, these drums, this bass, and then we'll bring the instruments up. So I'm going to go on the master track here and let's throw on the Maximus. Essentially all Maximus is, is it has a bunch of really dope presets. You got mastering presets, you have insert presets for drums, or if you're trying to get some warmness on some instruments. And you also have some other breakbeat presets and more fancy presets like gate presets, some lo-fi stuff, stuff like that that you can mess with. But really what we're going to mess with is this clear master RMS. We throw that on the master, it changes things up a little bit. If we look at Maximus here, we can go over to the monitor tab or we can go over to bands and that's going to show us our lows, mids, and highs, okay? Now if we just play this beat and hear how the preset sounds without messing with anything. You hear that's already hitting. Let's listen to it with and without it. So that preset alone, without messing with anything, already makes it sound pretty good, but we can actually manipulate these bands here. That kick is hitting pretty hard. Let's bring the bass down a little bit. You can move it up and down, and you can also move it left to right and choose how much of the band there is. When you're moving it up and down, it'll tell you what dB level you're at, so how loud that band's going to be. So up here, it tells you at the top left what dB. So if I bring this up, I'm at 7.5 dB right here. And then if we move it left to right, up here in the top left it'll tell you what frequency you're at so we don't want the lows to be too too much frequencies to where it's cutting into the mids and kind of sounding muddy so we'll bring this around like 160 hertz okay and let's mess with the mids a little bit bring those down and let's bring the highs up a little bit like so just to give it some presence and we'll actually cut the highs to somewhere about right there now let's hear how it sounds
So that kick is hitting a little too loud. I'm going to just bring it down a little bit, bring it down to like 70%, just bring it down 2% in volume. Now let's hear it again. Now what we can also do is if we click on this low tab, when I hit play, take note what's happening right here on this screen. So right here, you can actually limit the sound in certain ways. So if I mess with this tension knob and bring it down, it's making that kick not hit as hard but still giving it some sauce. Now also what we can do to get a little bit more sauce is sidechain these drums. So I already have them all routed to a drum bus. I'm gonna right click on the sidechain bus and do sidechain to this track. Now all of these instruments, the vocals and the bass, I'm going to route that to the sidechain bus only. And now on the sidechain bus, I can throw a limiter on, go over to the sidechain or go over to the compression tab, go over to sidechain and do drum bus. I'm gonna bring the knee and the ratio all the way to the right and the threshold down. can mess with the release knob here too to get some interesting sidechain sauce. So now we got it loud enough to the level that we want. What we really got to do is kind of set a ceiling right now, okay? So if we see this right here, this is hitting right at zero. Let's bring this down to like a negative 1.6. Once again, up here, we can see where it's at. So if I bring this down, we'll do negative 1.8. And I'll copy the value and paste it right here. And we want to make sure we're doing this on the master tab so it's affecting all of it. Now it should be limited right at negative 1.6 if we listen. So you can see right here, this blue bar, that's right at, at zero, okay? And we don't want it to hit zero, but you can see these transients are hitting right at the top of that limit of that ceiling we set on that limiter. So it's hitting very close to that negative 1.8. We listen and keep looking at these transients. You can see right at that top point of that transients, it's right at that ceiling so that's good we want to make sure nothing goes over that ceiling another way to monitor that is if you hover over the master track and play the beat right here on the current track it shows a volume slider and it will show you what the peaks are hitting at right around here
down here is where the highest peak is hitting. And if we hover over that up here at the top left, it'll tell us that that's about negative 8 dB. So exactly where we set that ceiling. So just using Maximus can give you a very, very clean master on your beat. Keep in mind, you got to mess with the bands and you don't want to get too crazy with it. You don't want it to have your bass too high, your mids too high, your highs too high. You want them all at a nice level with each other. So it just sounds cohesive. So keep that in mind. One more thing before we end this, I want to talk about this saturation area right here. So, so you can actually set a saturation ceiling as well. So right here, if I put the ceiling to negative 1.8, and then I can move the threshold to the left or to the right, to the left is saturation mode A, and to the right is saturation mode B. They're just different saturations, so you can choose which one you like the most. But let's go towards the left here and listen. <laughs> You hear when I turn the ceiling down to something really low, you can really hear how it's affecting it. So just having that saturation to give it a little bit of warmth. That's pretty much it. That's really all you need to worry about for the basis of Maximus when you're just trying to get things loud. Don't forget about the pre other presets that you have here like punchy drums and stuff like that. If you'd like me to talk more about using Maximus on individual elements like drums and instruments, let me know about that in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. If this video brought you value, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. If you need any melodies or if you need one-on-one -on -one sessions in FL Studio, you can check the link in the first pinned comment or in the description and check out more information on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.